So I did a previous video where I upgraded the fog light bulbs on my truck and they look pretty awesome. So today I decided let's go ahead and let's do the headlight bulbs. So I use the same company, Oxido, however you want to say it. And I got the 9008 H13 bulbs. So I'm going to go over this, talk about a couple of reviews, specs, show you how to install it in the vehicle, and then show you a bit of the before and the after. So now this is the 9008 H13 LED bulbs. They have double-sided LED chips. They're 80 watts, 16,000 lumens per set, 6,500K cool bright white light, 360 degree lighting, 400% brighter than halogen. Now these tend to have a longer lifespan, primarily in fact due to the whole aviation aluminum body, 12,000 RPM high speed cooling fan, which provides powerful dissipation ability, which ensures an up to 50,000 hours long life. So now they make claim to be CAN bus ready and they're supposed to have the upgraded driver with built in intelligent IC and temperature control making the 9008 HDT LED bulbs error free for 99.9% .9 of the vehicles. And this ensures that the lamps plug in and have no radio interference. Now CAN bus, just to kind of talk about it really quick, is a robust vehicle bus standard designed to allow microcontrollers and devices to communicate with each other's application without a host computer. Although it is CAN bus ready, you still probably are going to need a resistor kit for it, primarily because the LED bulbs have a lower resistance and the fact that it will appear as the bulb out problem. The CAN bus error feature, or the fact that it's ready for it, allows the fact that the vehicle will accept it and transmit to the computer systems. The resistor will kind of trick it into thinking that the voltage or the resistance is quite fine. So now I reached out to the company. I said, hey, I need it. Can you send it? And they sent it free of charge, which I think is pretty cool of the company. Now this is kind of the resistor baluster that you will need for it if you have a Chrysler vehicle. I have heard that some Chrysler vehicles do not require this, but for the most part, most do. My 2007 Dodge Ram truck does require this. So let's go ahead, let's get to the truck. Let's pop this in, which should be a quick, easy install. And we'll see how this thing works. All right, so for the 2007 Dodge Ram truck, pretty much the third gen series Dodge Ram truck, Installation is very simple, so I'm going to try to give you the best view I can of doing it. So first off, if you come over here, now for the most part, all you need to do is disconnect this red tab over here, which is Chrysler Security, and you pull it out. Then once you do that, hit the tab, press it, your connector comes out and then twist the bulb and your bulb should be out. Now for our installation what we need to do first is we need to install our resistor over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our connector kind of marry these together like so, reinstalling our red tab like that. And then what we're gonna need to do is kind of find a home for this where this is not flopping around. So let's just put this right over here for now. And then take our bulb, just pop it in and just turn it till it kind of snaps in. kind of like so and then this connector is going to go right in to our resistor now for the most part that's pretty simple and easy but now we just have to deal with tucking that away so I'll work on that in a sec I'm going to go ahead and do the other side Send it out for our other side. It's a little tucked in right over there, but you can see the green connector with the red tab right over there. Same thing, pull out the red tab, press on, depress the connector, 
pulls right out and then twist it right out. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then right over here, twist the bulb out. Fairly simple. So kind of the same process as before, just kind of slide it in here. And my hand is going to get in the way. Just kind of slide it in. Find those grooves where it sits in and then you're just going to twist it in. All right, that slid in and we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and put the resistor on, which is in the bag over here. And kind of the same process as the other side. Just marry it to the new one. Snap those in together. And we're just going to leave that sticking up until we're able to clean it up with some wire ties. So let's go ahead and save our bulbs. Clean up our engine base so we have nothing to get messed up or jacked up or lost. And the first thing we want to do is just turn all lights on. Turn you off. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Oh yeah. Definitely a lot brighter and a lot cleaner. So I'm liking the way that's looking. Pretty cool. Now let's get this moved out of here. All right, not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wire tie these up real quick and I'll show you what it looked like after I do it. And that way you guys get an idea of how I clean this up a little bit. Don't know how well that comes out on camera, but if you look, I just went ahead and wire tied it to the chassis. Just used about two or three wire ties. Can't remember how many. And that just kind of keeps it out of place. It's secure and it's not going to rub up against wires. And also you want to make sure that the wires don't run into that little fan because I guess that would be a bad day. Also did the same thing on the other side. So this thing is nice and secure. So let's wait until tonight. I'll show you guys uh, before and after. Of how these things look and then give you my final review and assessment So as you can see, these lights look pretty amazing. I mean, I just really like the way they just brighten up the truck and just give it just a modern look. I mean, seeing at night, it's clear as day and it's gonna be great driving in the back roads um, upstate New York where we go visit and even driving at night at the highway. They look great, they perform good. The installation was not too bad. You just gotta be mindful of the resistors and the little connectors that go with it and just kind of tuck them away somewhere secure but for the most part other than that it's pretty good they are a little pricey at $79.99 but maybe you could catch Amazon on a special where they have a discounted price uh, I know right now they have like $15 off so that kind of helps with it a little bit but still for $79.99 it's not bad not to mention the company will send you the resistors if you email them they did that to me and I've read a couple of reviews where they've done that to people so that might be something plausible. Do I recommend these? Absolutely. I actually do recommend them considering the fact that the company sent me the resistors for free and they've done it to a lot of people. That shows that they back their product and they're quite proud of it. So yeah, hope you guys like this. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see what we fix next.